Hello everyone, Foxlow back again. Another episode of X3, Fallen Legacy, and in this, e this episode we need to um, mark up that new uh, gate we found. As you can see um, on my current mission I've got to deploy relay beacons, I've got my headquarters currently making them. We should have made, well, they're in the process of making it. Let's have a look. Headquarters, no, not the bathroom, headquarters. Found abandoned. Little is known about this large, unique there station, nor yeah. about its previous owner or owners. Three. Yes. It does help. Thank you. Quiet. So, using the uh, the uh, nemesis, we can jump to the closest sector to it. So that's what we're going to do. But this is the problem with the um, acceleration gates. You can't jump to acceleration gates. So we've got to jump to the other side of the hub. So if we go Shift J and then go. Holy vision. I think this is the only place we can jump. I don't think we can jump anywhere here. No valid route See? to destination. No valid route to destination. It would be nice to jump straight to here, but you can't. No valid route to destination. Because they're all um, acceleration gates. You can only jump to an actual gate. So I think there's one in the void alpha. There is, look, where the pirate station is. So we go to the west gate and we'll have to travel to the headquarters to pick them up. So that's the quickest way to do it. Charging at 10%, 20, How much? 30. We had 225 40, energy cells. 50%. We've used over 60, 100. 70. Well, 80, less than 100. 90, we have to buy some more. Jumping. Entering the void. So I Alpha. Thought, thought I'd record this as well. To those that don't know. The nemesis in that respect is quite useful, um, albeit so slow. I really want to find some tuning upgrades for it because then I might actually keep it. I don't know. I still haven't made up my mind because it's the only way we're going to make a lot of money to be able to buy a factory. I don't know. Even though I've got... Where are we? Currently got 2.3 2 million, so it's not a lot. Look at my rep. Anyway, so here, as long as we're in the boron sectors, we can um, get our rep up even more. Well, not here, but when we get to the void. <coughs> right, that way, please. There you go. Now, let's go on the mouse. My normal travel now, I use the mouse because it's a lot easier. Come on, get that. And I just use the joystick for fighting. If I could use my um, X52 Pro, but it don't work in here. I just, I did try it. I spent quite a long time trying to work, make it work and it won't. <coughs> so my mad... Entering the void. My, old, my old mad cat is um, a bit stiff, but it's usable. Oh, where do I want to go? I can't. I need to go south. We are in Gamma, aren't we? Yeah. So let's go south. Transorbital accelerator. The void. Epsilon. Epsilon. The production, the HQ will tell me when it's uh, finished its production. It's not quite finished yet. And I'm still sending my ships to go make money, but at the moment. Energy cells are They're the too unified. expensive. He's docking at the other solar power plant. I'm going to have to Incoming use... Incoming message. Oh, there you go. He's just docked. <laughs> Let's see if they are at a reasonable price. Energy cells no, are the not. unified. Okay, we're going to have to wait for them. I'm not sitting there waiting for it, by the way, like I did initially. Right, go. Oh, I've got to get this speed up. I reckon 200 is a good speed for a um, M6. Not 135. Crappy speed. <laughs> is there anything in here of interest? No. 
No quests. No missions. So yeah, this is why um, obviously the HQ is in the wrong position right now. It's going to be a long time if we if I play this um, unmodded when we're going to be able to move it because um, we need to move it with a TL. Now the TLs cost I think around 28 million, so it's going to be a while <laughs> before we can buy one. You have to, you can move it, but you have to have your own TL. You can't get an NPC TL to do it. It unpacks your HQ and then you can plonk it down wherever you want. That's got to be done a lot later. And please, I'm um, getting people that are actually liking the series, which is cool. Entering the void. Epsilon. There we go. We can Space uh, Lab Headquarters. Is it still not finished or is it waiting for something? Should have finished by now. Let's have a look. Found abandoned. Little is known about this large, unique station, uh -oh, it's nor stopped. about its previous owner or owners. It does, however, bear some resemblance to other specialized stations that have been built at various times by successful entrepreneurs for Where's use as headquarters. The advanced design of the station suggests that it may have enhanced capabilities, but the nature of these has yet to be fully determined. Why is it not building the... Hmm. Has it run out? Needed resources. Oh, what's it need? Oh dear. Um, let's have a look. What does it need? Oh no, energy cells. Um, 343. Sugar. Now I'm going to have to, um, wait a minute. We're going to have to get some energy cells to it. <coughs> We're going to have to spend some money. Ah, don't want to spend any money. Which ones are cheaper? Let's have a look. Oh, that one's 15. Well, we'll have to buy it at 15. I need to get it, so... We can get the uh, Demeter to get some. Might as well stock the HQ up. Energy cells are the unified energy storage used throughout the whole known universe. Products are not bought. I always press the wrong key. That's going to cost us 41k. Yeah, we need to energy we need to do it. So bought. get him to dock at the head of quarters. Docking granted. I'm continually waiting for the command when you do that. In XVTC, it's um, <clears throat> they also tell you that command has been accepted. So, <laughs> doesn't do that here. Yeah? Let's do the because we've got to wait for it. Yeah, we're going to wait, guys. I'm going to record because this is how you play the game. <laughs> I like this view. I really like just sit. I can sit here and just watch it. The DNM, she does look cool, but she's not the best M6. The best M6 we probably can't get in this particular game unless I actually mod it and. Cr um, create the ship because you can create the ship with this particular mod that's why it's technically it's cheating but when I use it I give myself goals I don't give myself money I give myself starting ships and if I lose those starting ships I don't give them back I don't give them back to me I've got to earn them so it doesn't spoil the game for me because if you give yourself everything all the time then it just spoils the game doesn't it but to start off with especially this series after I've played so many hours in the past for me, having that mod is far better than going through the system, especially with X3T, Terran Complex. Um, I think that's probably one of the best ones. It's 
I think I prefer it more than X4. X4 is good, but X3 the plots are really co really cool. So anyway, I won't go back to that until I finish this one off. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stick to unmodded on this one um, because of the race relations rubbish you have to go through because I want to be able to go to every single sector and the way the race relations work you're not going to be able to do that you're going to have to keep trying to, <coughs> trying to change all the race relations with each race's sectors that you want to go to which will affect the race relations of anything that you've built in the other races so you know it's a yo-yo friggin game really <laughs> anyway I hope this isn't boring you guys watching this but you can all fast forward but it's still cool like I say, I can just sit here and watch the ship fly. The Demeter is um, a bit faster than the Nemesis, I think. What's the Demeter speed? I can't remember. I think it's about 150, is it? The Demeter has been used for some years yeah, now. Yeah, 151. So the Demeter is quicker than me. Or me Nemesis. <clears throat> Hmm. We'll put it on Sator in a minute, but I like watching this enormous speed because in Sator it's not so nice, it's too quick. See? So we've got to do in normal speed. Okay, let's get within docking range and then we'll put Sator on. If you immediately dock, you need to be within four kilometers. If you've got a docking computer, that is. You need a docking computer, but you all will have, because they give you it at the start, don't they, so, which is cool. In X3TC, you don't get anything. <laughs> get On the start, you don't get anything. You get two ships, but they don't have anything. Right, let's stop here. That's yeah, just cool. I do like the design of the Nemesis. Some of the Boron ships look really, really nice. Oh, the Boron, the um, pounded ships. Right, come on, Sator on. We've got to sit here and wait. I don't want to use my editing software on all my stuff because I like to upload in 2560 by 1080 and my editing software won't do that. It to reduces everything slightly, so. I only use that as a last resort. So we've got to wait. This game does um, include a lot of waiting time and a lot of travel time. Um, so it takes a long time to get to where you want to be. But that's the nature of X3TC. Oh, what happened there? Something jumped in. How can something jump in? Oh, there's no beacons here. The only way you can jump into this uh, sector I don't know if it's capable to make um, jump beacons because you can, I don't know if you can buy them or not, I'm not sure. Find that out later. Here she comes, look. Here's Dear Odomia. We'll get her to put some stock in. Bofu Demeter. tiny little ship but they've been working well for me they really have they've been making me dosh no incoming message bits at a time but they've still been making it right oh <laughs> I did that wrong oh yeah a weapon found a com Gonna energy put it all in. cells are the unified energy storage energy cells transferred. There you go. Picked it up already. Look. Let's send her back. 
Sort of our point. Beta says she wants to go to Alpha. Docking go. granted. Incoming message. Now that'll be the HQ. It should have finished it by now. Yeah, dump so we can pick them up. We need to get some. Um, Space Lab Headquarters. Some more. Successfully docked. Welcome back on board. Connection to local trading network established. Some more energy cells. We can probably take some from in here. Um, where is it? Where is it? Relay beacon. There we go. Oh, I've got four. Relay um, beacons are used to compute the trajectory of hyperspeed access points. Relay beacon transferred. We need some more energy cells. Let's energy cells are the unified energy storage used throughout the whole known universe. Oh, the like unification of the energy storage so specific energy cells. Trans okay, now we can jump back. So let's do a save. Oh. Consuming game, it really is. But if you like that sort of thing, it's fun. And I like that Auto sort of thing sometimes. Okay, let's jump. Um, Uh, where are we? There we go. <coughs> Prophecy's Refuse, yeah, oi! Eastgate, we might as well go there. Outside this side of the hub. Jump device charging at 10%. When you get 20, able to jump all over 30, the place, it's so much easier 40, travel time. 50%, 60, 70, 80, 90. Jumping! <laughs> Uh, Entering <coughs> shore of infinity. Right, I think this is where Scorpio is, so we need to use Scorpius quicker. <coughs> I think he's in shore of infinity, is he? Shore of infinity, where's Scorpio? Oh no, he's in Preacher's, Refu uh, Preacher's Refuge. Should have jumped there, where are we? Can jump again. Uh, east Jump again. device charging at 10%, 20, 30, 40, Save us some time. 50%, 60, oh, yeah. 70. There we go. Entering Preacher's Refuge. I have to make it quick, get him to come to me. Command where are you? accepted. Where are you? Come on, Scorpion, where are you? Scorpion. There he is. There he comes. Run into me. <laughs> Let's make it a bit quicker, shall we? Let's go back into one bit. There we go. Here he comes. Don't hit the roid. Not me, the scorpion. Look. If you've got Sator on, the likelihood is that it could hit the roids. <coughs> so just don't do it. So when you can see the path of the ship, because it's on that other side. I think it's through, yeah. This side of the roid, here we go. Um. Let's change ship. Now I can't remember. Nemesis. Yeah, can't look click on that into it. There we go. Um Can't remember who's got what. 
Right, let's have a look. <coughs> Relay one, two, three. Relay beacon transferred. Who's got the triplex scanner? No, the. Uh, where is it? Transport device. Oh, hi, the scorpion's got it. Okay, it's cool. Okay, done. Let's go and put these on. Find what other, that other sector is. <coughs> Just want to discover, there might be some discoveries in there, you see, so we've got to do it. Even though I don't want to do anything for the Paranid, because we're in the Paranid sectors, obviously. As you can see. <gasps> hmm. All right, let's go. I think this is going to be going to, um, where are we? Preacher's Refuge Beta, I reckon. Stop! Wait, too much. All right, let's lose the mouse. All right. Okay. Another one being done. Relay beacon ejected. Open up another gate. Just right. Relay beacon ejected. Here's the last one, and then we can go in and have a look. Stop. I do. Got to be within one kilometer. Relay beacon ejected. Mission complete. Okay, cool. That's where it's handy to have Military a jump drive. Military outpost. Where's the gate? Where's the gate? Let's target it. Or the hyperspeed access point. It's not a gate. Hyperspeed access point. Okay. Um, five kilometers. Command accepted. Entering Preacher's yeah. Refuge Beta. Cool. Yeah, I said it would be pretty, according to the map. I thought it was right. Right, let's find out what this discovery is. Probably a journal page or something. Yeah, if you watched my last video, I couldn't claim that toucan. I got a feeling I couldn't claim the toucan because it wasn't properly discovered. Yeah, I discovered it because I clicked on it prior to the LFL discovering it. So I'm assuming... If you click on one of these um, items before the LFL actually discovers it, you can't do anything with it because I couldn't claim it. So yeah, so lovely. I've got a feeling that's what's happened when I couldn't claim that ship. If you watch my last video, you'll see what I mean. Because <coughs> it's near the end of the video. What we got this time, so I won't click on them again. I'll wait till um, LFL discovers it and see what happens. If we find another ship, I don't think we'll find one here. I think this system will probably have a journal page or something, I would think. Yeah, that's a page there, is it? I'm not going to click on it. Well, what is that? Hold on, let's have a look. Beta Kionometer. Hmm. I won't click on that just in case it's the actual find. Which I think it is. We're seeing that a bit quicker than normal. You don't see it. Normal. Incoming message. What? Oh, my ships. Uh, Montemito. 
Have the, has the price come down? No, not yet. Not enough. Energy cells are the unified energy. Oh, I'll show you. Go. Yeah, it's got to be that. We've got to discover it, so don't click on it. I think that's a mistake I made with the two con. I actually clicked. Beta, Kion, yeah, there we go. Knew it was. Wait, up you go. Oh, I shouldn't use a joystick for this. It's easier with the mouse. Receiving upgrade information for database. Cool. Let's have a look what's in this system. Other than that, nothing. Look, it's a big system as well. Look. Hmm. I wonder. Let's do an explore, shall we, guys? Map sector. And do 100 again. Autopilot activated. Alright, let's go. See if we find anything. You gotta do this. When you find. Oh! Xenon, 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 oh! <laughs> Need to get out of here. Come in with the. Uh, oh, that's a good idea. Come on, get out of here. Where's the gate? Xenon too, M. Too many of them. Target left firing range. Where's the gate? We lost the gate. All the hyper speed access point. We could come in here with the uh, nemesis and we'd be fine. Ish. Hyperspeed access point. Creatures but, refuge. But not with the Scorpius, you'll get marmalized. Let's get out. I'm not even going to look at this lot. I've got to tag that yet. Let's put it on the mouse. There we go. I won't put Sator on. Sator causes problems with it. Well, we might get away with it. Let's see. Gonna have a big fight now. We'll bring in the. Uh, Nemesis, see if we can get on with this. Look, we can find. I'll do a save just in case. I don't want to lose the Nemesis. Ah. See, that's what happens when you use Sator. You can get hit. Command accepted. Oh. Made it. Entering creatures refuge. Nemesis. Get him to come to me as well. While we go to him. Yeah, I'm in red because I've got attacked. Command accepted. Alright, let's go. Wait. Let's go and have some fun. There we go, stop. Where are you? Okay, let's go. <coughs> Wee bit slow. We can leave Scorpy here. He'll be fine. Hopefully. Hyperspeed access point. Creatures refuge. Beta. This creature's refuge is full of xenon. What's this on there, look? Paranid weapon transporter. Mm. Demeter. Hyperspeed access point. Creature's refuge. Beta. Let's go. Go and have some fun. I think it's half an hour into the video already. I'm not getting to the Argon sectors yet, am I? <laughs> oh dear, because that's my goal at the moment. Yeah, those who follow me in NMS know I follow my nose, so I always get distracted. Command accepted. Entering creatures refuge. Be autopilot off. Come on. Let's see what we can kill. Xenon N. Target left. Firing range. What? 
Come on, turn. I'm here now because they normally attack you. Target is now in firing range. No aim. Pick up Rapier all again. missile. Only the one in there. Cargo sure. bay now contains rapier missile. See, we come right in at the edge, so they're in the centre there somewhere. <coughs> Let's go in. Well, my guns are on attack all enemies, aren't they? Yeah. Or well, my one gun on the upper upper turret. You see, they've all disappeared again. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Xenon M. It's 22 kilometres away. It's quite a way. This doesn't give us any rep or anything. Oh, does it? Oh, sugar. Does it? It will do. Um, wait a minute. Let's have a look at these. Hold on. Have they all got it again? Yeah, look. More points. But I'll do that off camera. I won't do that. <laughs> I won't put you through that. I'll put you through this. Oh shit, I haven't done a save, have I? Just in case. Pops up. Uh, how many have I got left? Five salvage insurance per. Yeah, this is a bit long, this. Oh, there's an M3 one there as well, there. That was an M3. Come on, guys, come and attack me. Normally the Xenon come to you. We're quite away from them, so... Let's get the closest one. Which is you. Xenon L. The L's a good M3. But I've not had a ship fail yet. No. Let's grab that wherever that was. Where are we? Where is it? Lost it, it's up here. There we go. Banshee missile. Ah. Um. Cargo bay now contains Banshee missile. Oh, some more M3s there, look. Xenon N. I hope my rep's not going up with the... Uh, let's have a look. Going Panic for Nippy Skin is 98%. 88% on Argon Federation and 20 on oh, Noble Pier. Trying to remember that, see if that actually shifts. I'm hoping I'm not giving any rep to the Panic. Because technically we're in their sector. And then a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of the Xenons use PVEs, which are quite fast, but they they need to be close to fire them. So yeah, the guns I've got in here are far no. far, far better for the smaller ships. Cargo bay now contains wasp missile. Hmm, we've got to clear all these out before I, well I can scan the roids. What are we in? Xenon N. There's quite a few in here, isn't there? I wonder if we can clear them all out. Don't know. High species are nothing else here, just the asteroids. Okay, that's a bit of fun. And see how the nemesis works. Which Xenon is cool. L. Which is cool. Could Target be a bit is now in firing range. Bit faster. Just pile it on. Slow down. You are being promoted. Fighter rank. That's okay. I don't want any um, rep. Let's see. If that changes. Eighty-eight percent. Twenty-one percent. No, it's still staying the same. Rick. That's my gun firing as well. The other Xenon N. And the quicker one. Yeah, come to me, fella. Ah! Come 
Catch it, catch Xenon it, catch it. N. Catch it, catch it. I'm just a joystick throttle. Whoa! Cargo bay now contains Rapier missile. Get on the marker, come on. No, I'm not on it. See, I've got Mark II fighter software on, so even though you're not right on the reticle, it sometimes should hit with these fast ships. I like them if they come to me. Come on. Wait. There we go. Now we've got him. No aim. Rapi cargo bay now contains Rapier missile. I'm your left. Let's have a look. Oh, there's some probably out of radar range. Oh, come on. See, this is why I hate this slow speed. Target is now in firing range. Get a bit closer, there we go. No aim. I'm really hoping wasp some... Wasp missile. Cargo bay now contains wasp missile. Some of these are going to bail. Because they do in uh, X3TC. Xenon N. Oh, what, 26. See, doing this with a scorpion would be quicker, but a quicker death. <laughs> 118, he's going, yeah, he's coming towards us. Come on. Not now, he's going away from us. He's going away from us. Come, come to us, fella. Notice me. Here he comes. That's why the speed of this ship should be 200. Face on, and you're going to die. Target is now in firing range. Oh, come on. <laughs> Mm, he's going far too quick, look, 360. He's within range though. It's just, I can't target him properly. I have hit him. Wait. Come to me, fella. There you go. No aim. Wait. Ah. Rapier missile. Got to pick them all up. Cargo bay now contains rapier missile. Where are they are now? They're all out of my radar range. M target. Xenon M. Clear it all out. Come on. Come on. Next one. Which one's the closest? Oh, the big Xenon one. M. Within two kilometers. There go. No aim. Wild cargo bay now contains wildfire missile. Go on then. When you're going to help your friend? <coughs> <Where is this? coughs> Quick one again. Ah. I'm going to go there. Xenon 
the quick ones are so finicky to hit. Unless they turn way into you. Well, I can get on the reticle. No aim. Cool. Rapier missile. Cargo bay now contains rapier missile. Another one. Xenon M. Go. They forget our fighting rank. Target is now ah, in fire. Then when you do missions for the stations, you'll get harder enemies. The higher the rank your fighter rank is. No aim. It will spawn the bigger Remote ships. guided warhead. It will um, spawn the bigger ships Cargo for you. Cargo bay now contains remote guided warhead. So when you've got a decent ship, but um, makes it easier to hit them. Hmm, have we cleared them all out? Oh, let's look at our rep. 88, 21, are oh, still the same. Cool. Asteroid. Let's just go to the centre. Make sure we've got them all. I think we've got most of them. You can still fly while you're in this mode. You can still turn your ship, see? So you can point the nose of where you want to go, but not do that. So you can see on the radar if there's any more. Looks like we got them all. So I'm now going to tag all these roids, but I won't record that. I'm going to call it here in a minute. So this is a bit shorter than normal. But yeah, it's going to take me a while. I'm not going to call my scorpion here. We'll use. I'll do this with the nemesis. It'll take a bit longer. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little session. Um, and dear old Nemi, it's making me want to keep her when I get to the Argon Center. I, I still haven't made my mind up yet. We'll see. Because um, I need to get a station, so we need to make some money, more money. Because the station's about, the first station I want is an MJ-1, yeah, one MJ, what do you call it, um, shield factory, because that makes quite good money once it's um, established, what it has always done in the past, so let's hope it does the same in this one. Um, I thank you so much guys if you got this far, I hope you enjoyed that little session, and yeah, we had to do a couple of things, didn't we? Jump somewhere to get some relay beacons and all that sort of rubbish. <laughs> anyway, I will catch you in my next one.